Again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. And today we are in the New Testament letter of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. And Paul writes, Therefore, we never stop thanking God that when you received his message from us, you didn't think of our words as mere human ideas. You accepted what we said as the very word of God, which of course it is. And this word continues to work in you who believe. <clears throat> you know, there's, there's two things that come to my mind with this passage. One is the openness that we need to have as we listen to a Bible teacher, as we listen to a sermon, as we listen to a, uh, a podcast or something like that from a spiritual teacher, a Christian teacher who is presenting God's word, in that we have to be open to what they have to say. Now, on the other side of the coin, there's also a requirement and expectation that we will be open-minded and open heart to the Holy Spirit in discerning. Because unfortunately, there are people who claim to be speaking God's word when in fact they're not. So how do you tell the difference? How do you know who to trust and who to um, cast aside and say, I'm not going to let that person speak any authoritative message to me. Well, the key is that we have God's word itself. We have the written word of God, which God has inspired and preserved through centuries. Against all odds, and so many times where uh, people sought to destroy all copies of, of God's word over the last thousands of years. But we have it, and it is God-inspired thing. And our challenge and our expectation is that we should know God's word itself so that then when somebody else speaks, we make sure that they are in line with what scripture says and that they're not contradicting it. But with a place of confidence in the person, in the message, in the verification that we need to be willing to receive what God has to say to us, and trust that the Holy Spirit is going to filter out things and inspire and encourage the truth. The Spirit of truth who is within us will be able to discern the truth within somebody else's words or writing. You know, there's some people who say, this is too much work. I want to just be able to say, this is what somebody said. I'm going to just do it. I don't want to have to engage my mind. Well, that may be how you're wired, but that is not how God intended you to be. He intended us to have a sound mind and to discern and evaluate and come to God himself to seek wisdom and guidance so that you can filter out the good and receive the, the or filter out the bad and receive the good. I hope that's not too discouraging for you, um, but Boy, just think how horrible it would be if you were to listen to and just swallow everything that a bad teacher has to say, taking you down a path that is in contra contradiction to God's word. You don't want to be in that boat. So much better to do the upfront work and discerning ahead of time. And honestly, I hope that you discern anything that you hear from me, that it lines up with what God's word says. Because don't, uh, don't accept anything without the Holy Spirit guiding and directing and helping you to filter out. And when you know that this is the truth, then accept it with joy and, uh, and with belief because it's God's message coming, even through an imperfect vessel like myself. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your word that is truth. And we thank you that... When we find people who are able to share what they have learned from looking at your word, that that can be an encouragement to us. It can help us to grow. 
can guide us and direct us into the future that you would have for us. But Lord, we want to be discerning. We don't want to make the mistake of just, you know, taking the filter off of our mind and just taking everything in without any discerning of whether it's true or not. Thank you that we have your word and we pray that your Holy Spirit, who is even better than your word in many ways, can help to affirm or challenge in our heart and mind those things that don't line up with your scripture and your truth. Lord, thank you that in all of this, we have a God who loves us and who is reaching out to us and can overcome even the misinterpretations or the or the bad things that we may have floating around us. So help us to, first of all, seek after you. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, in 1 Thessalonians 2, 13, Paul says, Therefore, we never stop thanking God that when you received his message from us, you didn't think of our words as mere human ideas. You accepted what we said as the very word of God, which, of course, it is. And this word continues to work in you who believe. I pray that God's word would work in you and uh, that you would recognize the truth and the truth would truly set you free. God bless you and have a great week. Bye-bye.